If you think Hitler was a man who shocked the world with terror and death, you might be right. But there was a man, a dictator much fierce than Hitler himself. In fact he defeated Hitler and his kill count is much higher. Who is he? Let's find out. Joseph Stalin, born Iaseb Biserionis Dies Jugashvili on December 18, 1878, in the small Georgian town of Gori, would go on to become one of the most influential and controversial figures of the 20th century. As the leader of the Soviet Union from the mid-1920s until his death in 1953, Stalin left an indelible mark on the world, shaping the course of history in profound ways. Joseph Stalin's early life was marked by hardship and struggle. He was born into a poor Georgian family, and his father, a cobbler, was an alcoholic who often abused his family. Stalin's childhood experiences with poverty and domestic violence left a lasting imprint on his psyche. As a young boy, he contracted smallpox, leaving his face scarred, and later, he studied at a seminary in Tiflis, Georgia, where he was exposed to radical literature and ideas. Stalin's exposure to revolutionary thought during his time at the seminary, combined with his personal experiences, set him on the path to radicalization. He joined the growing underground revolutionary movement in Georgia, becoming involved in activities against the Russian imperial regime. His early revolutionary career was marked by bank robberies, arrests, and escapes, and he adopted the revolutionary pseudonym, Stalin, which means, Man of Steel. Stalin's rise to power within the Bolshevik party was a gradual and strategic process. His role in the October Revolution of 1917, which led to the Bolshevik seizure of power, was pivotal. He initially held minor positions within the party but gradually worked his way up through a combination of political maneuvering, loyalty to Vladimir Lenin, and ruthless tactics. In the power struggle following Lenin's death in 1924, Stalin emerged as the victor, becoming the general secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Stalin's consolidation of power was marked by a series of purges, which included the removal of rivals and those deemed disloyal. His leadership style was characterized by authoritarianism, secrecy, and a strong centralization of power. Stalin's five-year plans, initiated in the late 1920s, aimed to industrialize and modernize the Soviet Union, but they came at a high human cost. Stalin's policies during his rule had a profound impact on the Soviet Union's economy, society, and politics. Two key policies, collectivization and industrialization, were central to his vision for the country. Stalin initiated a radical program of collectivization in agriculture, aiming to transform the agrarian-based economy into a modern, industrial powerhouse. However, this policy led to the forced seizure of land from peasants, causing widespread famine, resistance, and human suffering. Millions perished as a result of the government's harsh measures, including the Holodomor, a man-made famine in Ukraine. Stalin's industrialization drive aimed to rapidly develop the country's heavy industries, such as steel, coal, and machinery. The first and second five-year plans emphasized increasing production to catch up with the industrialized Western world. While this process did transform the Soviet Union into a major industrial player, it came at the cost of human lives and liberties. Labor was often forced, and working conditions were harsh. One of the darkest chapters in Stalin's rule was the Great Purge, also known as the Great Terror, which took place in the late 1930s. This period of mass repression and political purges targeted not only perceived enemies of the state but also party officials, intellectuals, and even ordinary citizens. The reasons for arrest and execution were often arbitrary, with accusations of espionage, sabotage, or counter-revolutionary activities leading to severe consequences. The Great Purge was orchestrated through show trials where individuals were coerced into confessing to crimes they had not committed. The most prominent of these trials was the Moscow Trials, 
where high-ranking Bolsheviks like Leon Trotsky and Grigory Zinoviev were accused, convicted, and executed. The purges led to the imprisonment, torture, or execution of an estimated 700,000 to 1.5 million people, decimating the ranks of the Communist Party and instilling fear throughout the nation. Stalin's leadership during World War II marked a pivotal moment in his career. Prior to the outbreak of World War II, in August 1939, Stalin's Soviet Union signed a non-aggression pact with Nazi Germany, known as the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. This pact included a secret protocol that effectively divided Eastern Europe into spheres of influence, with the Soviets gaining control over the Baltic states, parts of Poland, and Finland. This agreement bought the Soviet Union some time and allowed Stalin to prepare for a potential conflict with Germany. Despite the non-aggression pact, Adolf Hitler broke the agreement in June 1941 and launched Operation Barbarossa, a massive invasion of the Soviet Union. The initial German advance was swift and led to significant territorial losses for the Soviets. Stalin, however, managed to maintain the morale of his people and the Soviet leadership initiated a scorched-earth policy, destroying infrastructure and resources to slow down the German advance. One of the most critical turning points in World War II was the Battle of Stalingrad, which took place from August 1942 to February 1943. Stalin's leadership and the determination of the Soviet people played a pivotal role in successfully defending the city against the German onslaught. The German Sixth Army, under the command of Field Marshal Friedrich Paulus, launched a massive offensive to capture Stalingrad in August 1942. The city was subjected to heavy bombing and artillery shelling. However, the Soviet forces, led by General Vasily Chukov, put up fierce resistance. They used a strategy of urban warfare, employing snipers, tunnels, and a network of defenses in the city's ruined buildings. Stalingrad streets and buildings became battlegrounds, leading to the close quarters combat, where soldiers from both sides fought room by room, street by street. The combat was intense and brutal. Conditions in the city were horrendous. Soldiers faced extreme cold, lack of supplies, and a constant threat of death, both sides suffered heavy casualties. In November 1942, as the Germans pushed deeper into the city, the Soviet Red Army launched Operation Uranus, a massive counteroffensive on the flanks of the German forces surrounding Stalingrad. After a huge loss of life, the Soviets succeeded in encircling the German forces, cutting them off from resupply and reinforcement. The German Sixth Army, now surrounded and cut off, found itself in dire straits. It was encircled and besieged by the Soviet forces. German supplies were limited, and the soldiers endured harsh winter conditions. Further, Hitler's refusal to allow the trapped army to break out or attempt a retreat worsened the situation for the Germans. On February 2, 1943, Field Marshal Paulus, realizing the hopelessness of the situation, surrendered the German Sixth Army. This event marked a significant turning point in the war, as it was the first major defeat for the German army on the Eastern Front. The battle resulted in immense casualties on both sides, with estimates of over 2 million soldiers and civilians killed, wounded, or captured. The Soviet victory at Stalingrad significantly boosted the morale of the Red Army and marked the beginning of the Soviet Union's offensive on the Eastern Front, which eventually led to the recapture of much of the territory lost to the Germans. The final years of Joseph Stalin's life were characterized by continued authoritarianism, health issues, and the consolidation of the Soviet Union's power in Eastern Europe. In his later years, Stalin's health began to deteriorate. He had various health problems, including high blood pressure, heart disease, and vascular issues. His health issues were exacerbated by his personal habits, including heavy drinking and smoking. Joseph Stalin died on March 5, 1953, at the age of 74. His death was officially attributed to a stroke, but there have been theories and allegations suggesting foul play or medical malpractice. Joseph Stalin's life and rule represent a complex and multifaceted chapter in world history. His journey from a poverty-stricken Georgian youth to the leader of the Soviet Union is a testament to his political acumen and persistence. 
Stalin's policies, marked by collectivization, industrialization, and the Great Purge, had a profound impact on the Soviet Union and the world. His leadership during World War II played a crucial role in defeating Nazi Germany. We will be back with another great story of another great historical personality, to keep an out on your latest videos, please subscribe to our channel and comment below your views so we can improve our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.